come along for a wild ride this week as we search for the perfect tender. We are searching, shopping, swapping, and zooming and explaining why we are deciding to swap our inflatable for an alloy tinny. If you enjoy this video, consider clicking the subscribe button and follow our adventures sailing around the world. Tune in every Saturday morning for a new family-friendly adventure. Hi, we're the James family. Are you sick of your day-to-day -day life? Ever thought about doing something different? Well, we did just that. We bought an unfinished aluminium catamaran and we're fixing her up as we sail around the world. Come along for the journey and click subscribe. Daddy? Mommy? Charlie? Daddy James. Alright, so right now we are on our way to pick up the car hire from the marina. We're going to go look at a tinny. So we've been looking at a few tinnies over the past few days. This one has just popped up on Marketplace today in the last few hours. And we're jumping on it because it looks like we're hopeful this might be our tinny. <laughs> yeah, so tinny is Australian slang for uh, an aluminium tender. So, or in America it's... Tender? Uh... Aluminum. Uh, aluminum. Aluminum. <laughs> aluminum. So, um, yeah, that's that's what we're going to go and uh, look at and check out. And there's another one that we really like that's 4.4 meters. But, hello, darling. But the problem with the 4.4 meter is it does fit on our davits, but it's pretty much the maximum. And what we find is when it's really rough weather or quite unpleasant on the boat, that's when we want to use our tender because the best place to be is underneath the tree <laughs> on the beach when it's really crappy weather. So if we go a bit smaller, we can be banging and clanging a little bit and, you know, be in a fair bit of slop um, and still launch the tender. So we've gone for 3.7, which is heaps of clearance either side. But that way, hopefully, yeah, that's the plan anyway. So we can launch it while it's still fairly uncomfortable. Mm. And we're hoping that this one is our tinny because it's yeah. 800 bucks yeah. and it's um, no trailer, no motor, no like bells and whistles, just the hull, which is just which is what we want. It, most of the ones that, that are for sale around here are like personal little fishing boats. And then the problem with that is they would have to resell all the different items, you know? So this way we don't. It's a lot simpler and easier and a nice clean transition. So fingers crossed that 3.7 isn't too small for us and yeah, yeah, it all works out. So right now we're in the tender on the way out of the marina over the other side to the boat ramp that's over this way, across the way. Um, we looked at the tinny yesterday and really liked it. So really nice and it's gonna drop it off to us and so we'll go get it meet him at the boat ramp and then we'll tow it back yeah today's a special day for two reasons it's also kate's birthday today the big three two get this done we go and eat way too much food yes here we go <laughs> and charlie do you want to show everyone tiggy's new outfit Tiggy now has a life jacket so that Tiggy and you can match. We are headed out of the marina, out around the break wall and down the channel that leads into Ross Creek and to the boat ramp. We will then tow the tinny with the inflatable back around into the marina and into our berth.
so right now we've brought in the tinny back and um, we have backed into our berth. <laughs> so we are just um, bringing the tenders to the back of the pole, to the dammit. And the tinny just, just fits under the pole. You got it? Got it. Good girl. And we're free. All right, so today is swap over day. So we are moving everything from the inflatable over to the tinny. Um, there's a few reasons why we wanted to go with the tinny. Um, they both have their pros and their cons. Um, one of the things that we're going to miss is um, the inflatables are a bit more stable. Um, as you can see, Sam is currently, he was sitting on the side. Um, yeah, like that. Um, and it's just easy to like put your foot there and get into the tender. Whereas the tinny, <laughs> it's a bit more wobbly. <laughs> but the pro of the tinny is that is for longevity. Um, our tender is coming up to 20 years old. It's doing really well. Um, but at this point, we are pumping it up, pumping the sponsons up on the sides about once a week. And um, She's just getting a bit old. She's still in good condition, but as far as longevity, um, the tinny will last us a long, long time. So the other thing that we were considering um, between the inflatable and the tinny, um, weight is very important on catamarans, and as you know, we are overweight. Um, so the inflatable is a bit lighter. It's 54 kilos. Um, it is... It's inflatable, that's air in the in the sponsons. Whereas the the tinny that we've gone for is a 3.7 meter Stessel Edge V and it's 70 kilos. So a bit heavier, but um we we consciously made that decision to go a bit heavier for for the tinny. Um, we know that we're overweight, but that's something that we are we are happy to go overweight for, <laughs> and we also needed to consider our um, our pulleys and how much weight that they could take up there. One of the um, downsides that we we do realize with a tinny uh, is visiting other boats. Um, right now, with visiting other boats with a, with an inflatable, it's no big deal. We just pull up alongside. If we are bouncing against their hull, it's no big deal. We're not scratching it. Um, with a tinny, <laughs> we're going to have to be um, mindful, very careful about going to visit and saying hi to other boats. Not many fiberglass boats are going to want us alongside saying hi and, and bouncing off them. And um, poor cruiser form to leave marks on someone's hull. So um, we'll, we'll be mindful of that. that. That is one of the downfalls. Um, with us, because we're aluminium and she's an aluminium tinny, we're unpainted, uh, we don't, we're not worried about scratching the paint. I think Sam is going to miss doing zoomies underneath the bridge deck clearance. <laughs> <laughs> with the inflatable, it fits um, with all three of us. You just duck the head and go through and do zoomies. We posted a few videos of us doing zooms underneath the bridge deck. And um, with the tinny, it fits, but it fits like barely scrapes by. And um, I think that's one thing that, that'll be decreasing is zoomies underneath the, the bridge deck clearance. One of the other really good pros about the tinny um, is that we can go fishing in it um, and not worry about puncturing the side. Whereas right now, when we've fished out of the tender, when you're pulling the line back, um, really need to be careful about not puncturing the the sponsons, like shoving, accidentally getting a hook stuck in and, and popping it. Um, just with having rods sitting there and going to a fishing site, just watching the lures, watching the rods, making sure that they're not um, going to be poking a hole. Whereas 
the tenny is just easy breezy throw the rods in throw the lures in and away we go and there's no worry about puncturing and the other thing is for longevity we really like that we don't have to worry about the sun or the uv with the tinny whereas we've had chaps so we've got an extra protection on the sponsors so we've got covers which protects it from the sun uh, to decrease the the rate of um, the uv deteriorating the sponsors um, one of the things that we are considering right now we know that with the sun with the titty the seats are going to be hot so um, probably just be mindful of that and be putting down towels whenever we sit down but um, that's why we, we've decided to go with the tinny and right now we're headed north up the Queensland coast we are getting into croc country and um, didn't really want to be going to croc country with a little chew toy um, the tinny is a bit more durable against crocodiles and yeah that so those are those are our reasons why we wanted to go with the tinny and why we we're swapping over One of the things that we wanted to keep in mind when looking at a tinny, we wanted to keep our outboard because it's easy to start and really easy for me to start. We looked at a few with uh, 25 horsepower, and the 25 is just a little bit more difficult for me to start. One of them I can't even start. So we wanted to find something that 15 would be able to push as well. Yeah, and it's doing great. And we're about to exit the marina. That's the exit, and we'll fire her up. What is it that you're hanging on? Definitely faster. Faster and way drier. Yeah. Hang on, we are headed back now. Yeah, and 
one of the things that we really liked about having like a bit more space in here is that we use the tinny like our car because it sort of is our car. And with the car, you go to the beach, and then in the afternoon, you're like, oh, we should go to the beach again. So you leave the beach toys in your tinny. And then, like, it's like your car. After, like, about a month, you're like, oh, I should really clean, clean it out. <laughs> and so with the inflatable, it just not really crowded. It cramped really fast. So we really like that we've got some space to keep, like, beach toys or shoes. Really helpful to keep shoes in the tinny because we go barefoot a lot. And the worst thing is to show up at the grocery store or to go grocery shopping. <laughs> And you're missing shoes, and then you've got to take the tender back out to the boat to get shoes because you can't walk to the grocery store without shoes. True story happens about has happened a, a handful of times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and this one, if we kept shoes in here, there's plenty of, of space where it's not going to be in the well. Yeah, how is that? That was super fast. Uh, So the tinny is all strapped up on the davits. So it's all strapped up and hung up. Um, the other thing that we had to be um, looking for when, when looking at tinnies was where to put the ropes to haul it up on the davits. Um, we looked at one that we really, really liked, except it didn't have any points to put the ropes to, like strength points, to haul it up. This one is really good. Um, we put the ropes here. This is a strengthening point. Same with over there. And on the bottom over here, the ropes are on the strengthening points as well. The last thing to do is to order decals. Uh, it needs to say tender to Emma James. And the inflatable is down here. And we're gonna be cleaning up the inflatable and getting her ready to go to new owners. Thank you so much for watching. If you are enjoying our videos and would like to help support us making videos and content, consider becoming a Patreon. The link is in the description below. And don't forget to click those like and subscribe buttons and we will see you all next week.